Hello and welcome back to another Beating Every 3 Star. So the first level I will be playing today is Psych by Dubstep Fanatic. Pretty decent colours, I like how the orange here feels a bit washed out, helps it blend in a bit more instead of contrasting too much. The contrasting colour is well done as well. Some really lovely colours throughout this. Designs are a bit lacklustre, however I think the general composition helps tie the whole level together and actually make it feel pretty good. Very empty block designs here, but the structuring really helps. Nice little effect in those arrows, and I like the background. Pretty simple, pretty decent. Nothing too special, I can see why it was just star rated, but that's not a bad thing. Star Road by one and only Ace, and it was a first creator point. I love the room level. I want to do a couple more Moffa challenges, I've randomly just thought of this right now. I would love some room based Moffa challenges, um, but I'd, I'd like just more in general. I have quite a few anyway, but I feel like I've played most of them pretty easy coin. The structuring in general here isn't done so well. The colours don't have great combinations with them either. I think if you're going to have designs that are this simple and this repetitive, at least either switch up the colours or have very good colour combinations. It's feeling very unpolished at the moment and it doesn't feel like there's much to it either. It's a pretty fun level. It just doesn't look incredible. Snegopad by Surmap. Nice colours. Could have a bit of contrast in them, but I like the variation. The designs are pretty original as well. I like the outline. It sticks to a similar theme for quite a while. Hope it switches up here, and it does, which is good. The front and the back looks good. It's a nice subtle effect here. Just a couple of glow beams, nothing too special. But it definitely helps add a few things to the level. I like the structuring. It feels very well thought out. It definitely could be much better. There are a lot of elements in this level that are just completely missed. But overall, this is really solid with some very, very good parts. Add a bit more to it, and this would be a real banger. I see why that was only star rated. La Hell by Farsiski, I think. First feature of the video. Nice atmosphere so far. Really separates this level from the other three that I've just played. Some interesting gameplay, lovely movements. You can see why this was featured and the others were star rated. Colours here definitely could use some work. I'm not a fan of the orange and the pink together. Nice bulge here. Don't take that out of context. I love those planets there. This is really cool. Some really nice assets in quite a simple level. Which makes it feel much more detailed than it actually has to be. Yeah, this is really solid. With some interesting movements in terms of gameplay as well. Which work very well. It's very consistent. Floating Islands by Lance20. Okay, I'll see how many coins I can get, but I'm not really going for them. Okay, so you can wall jump. Some nice designs here. It's very obviously themed. Nice use of the clouds. Could be a bit more variety in them, though. Nice moving parts. They tie in a bit with the background, though. I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe they could be a grey. I wish you could go in these. That would make for an interesting coin. I like these coin placements. It makes you explore the level. I definitely wish it would switch up in terms of design a bit. Could have some colour changes or a background change. I like this concept here. Definitely could use some more checkpoints. I do like this coin though. Pretty decent level. Satura by Malk. Nice colours. Love a contrasting colour like that. I'm just going to say, the way you do this, I want to see more people do it, so I'm just going to explain it. You choose any colour, preferably not like purple. They usually don't work too well. But like any blue or pink or green or orange or something like that and then have another colour set to the hue 180 of that or minus 180 whatever you like. It just looks amazing. That is the basis I use for a lot of my levels. This kind of reminds me of D Kitty and Kiana and those kind of creators. Those ones that use those scales that go up quite rapidly and make the blocks appear. I like that a lot. It's an effect that I actually asked Kiana to use in a collab part that they did. I like the subtle area tint behind it. Cheeky little coin. I like the flat spikes. That's very D Kitty. Very clean transitions. Nice colour combinations here as well. The blocks here look nice and I like the background colour. Pretty simple but looks very good. Cool level. Colour Blockade by Radium GD. I know these are 2.2 blocks but this kind of feels 2.1 at the moment. Yeah, it's a very 2.1 style. Something Goldcraft would make. Not much going for it at the moment. The colours are pretty decent, but there could be some contrasting elements. Gameplay's pretty original, but it's not too original. Designs are very, very generic, and I'm not a huge fan of some of the movements. Nice coin. Yeah, this could just be better. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It doesn't stand out at all. This last part is good. It has a nice atmosphere, nice glow usage. 
good intensity. Could have some particles going quite quickly over the screen just to replicate that energy, but not bad. Valias by Kekat. Nice short level, love those. Spikes in the background kind of look like spikes. Obvious, because they are, but I didn't know I could touch them. So I'm guessing you have to go back on yourself after this. The nice simple level, I haven't really commentated on the designs at all. It's because there's nothing special with them, but they've been done well. There's nothing to complain about. There's nice glow usage. It's pretty clean, nice. And the last one I will be playing is OOO by Xeron. Our first epic of the video and the last level. I think it's gonna be an art level, just from this intro here. Quite a long intro, would be nice to start playing soon. Still auto, decent effects, quite eerie looking. But that use of sepia there and now the grey scale. Oh, I've seen this. I definitely have seen this. I think this was requested to me quite recently. For a three star, the gameplay is very unconventional, which I do like. However, you have to wait for quite some time before you can actually play. It starts at 23%. There's not really much going on in this bit. It's not entertaining. It's kind of just to set the atmosphere. Which is cool, but frustrating. I just don't know what to do. It looked like there was an indicator there and I jumped and it just killed me. I'm just not going to jump there, but I don't jump there and then I die. I think what you have to do is jump way before the indicator. And if you're going to put indicators on a level, you need to put them in the right place. Because people are going to rely on them and then it's just going to kill them. Although this is interesting and unique, I don't particularly see why this is epic yet. I am going to give up on this. This video is long enough. I will come back to it in another video is just kind of annoying thank you very much for watching and i shall see you in the next one bye